Hey guys, so it's time to check out the GTA Vice City, uh, the, um, the Galaxy S8 versus the iPhone 4, which is like a 50 euro device versus an 830 euro device. Now, I did a video like this, I thought it was popular with the GTA 3, that's why I'm doing it with Vice City right now, also to see how that game runs, because I think this game is a little bit more fun. So, I turn off the music, let's just see how it runs. And the loading times also. Okay, it's up first here on um, the um, S8. So we're gonna start off play a little bit on the S8. So I'm just gonna skip this intro. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. I'm gonna skip this one here as well. Okay, so the first thing you can see with the S8, it's a little bit annoying with the sides. It's a little bit like, um, you know, you can see a reflection. Uh, but yeah, let's start off here with the S8. So let's see, it still hasn't loaded up yet. Let's see how long time it takes to load up on the 4. Okay, it's up and running here. So you can see move around here smooth on the S8. Uh, a bit slower here as you can see when you're moving around but not horrible let's just jump in the vehicle here and I'm just gonna drive around a little bit to see the performance first thing I can notice with this game is the camera is way far away okay there we go so thing I can notice is great performance Really good performance actually. For some reason GTA San Andreas doesn't run around well, but GTA 3 and GTA Vice City is running great on the um, the S8. So I haven't noticed a single frame drop thing. Let's just walk out here. Let's move around a little bit. So great performance. I mean, this is really good performance. And also, it looks pretty good. Let's just steal another car, see how the graphics is running. Still no weird lag issues. Which is very, very nice. So, you kind of get the stable performance here on the S8. Let's now just check out it on the... Um, uh, iPhone 4, 50 euro device, to see how it runs here. So of course first obviously a smaller display. What do you see here? Can you play the game? Worse speaker also. Let's see, can I zoom in? One of the worst part actually with the iPhone is the speaker. I'm not sure if it's just my variant, but uh, can you play the game? Yes, you can. Is it the best performance? No. I probably wouldn't play it myself, but I think actually that this game feels a little bit heavier for the iPhone 4 compared to GTA 3. I think GTA 3 is a little bit lighter on the iPhone 4, so that can be good there to know. I'm not sure, also you should remember that this phone is running on the latest version of iOS uh, so that might also slow it down a little bit. It might actually be able to perform better if you're having an iPhone 4 with an older uh, older iOS version because usually you shouldn't update the iPhones because they get very very slow with new iOS versions but uh, I think you can kind of play this game if you really really want to but yeah, not the best performance. So yeah, quickly video checking that out, comparison here, hope you enjoyed, have a great day.